God, sister, Donna. We are the women. We are the women. We do not want our daughters to become stalwart, steadfast survivors, those who have overcome. We are the women our mothers cautioned us against, as if we had choices, as if our child mouths had voices, as if anything or anyone could keep us safe. And we have become expert forgetters, better liars than most, because we don't admit it, but we remember, we remember, remember sometimes so vividly, but do not say, afraid, ashamed of the strength the past has to grab a hold, to wreck us, even as adults, years later, so many resolutions later. Yes, we remember, try as we might to forget, the blurred and blunted days and nights, or a singular time being held harshly in the dark, made to keep secrets, so many secrets, forced to live secret lives. As children, we became living shrouds, tortured by our entrapment, threatened into silence, ugly, little numerous, little silences. Until for a while, every man that looked like an uncle, a neighbor, a brother, was menacing. Every woman that looked like a mother was disappointing. Every word of betrayal. And we learned to hide our eyes for fear that people would see the injuries inside. As adults, we longed to plead to have visible scars we could point to the doctor's bills, we could pay a way to fix it. The silence is suffocating, but the talking terrifies us more. We become expert at forgetting. We forget with each autumn leaf. We forget with the first heavy snow. We forget with the showers in spring. We make an art of it. We are creative forgetters. We spin stories out of the poles left by the truths we have deleted. We are poetic forgetters. We write poems about everything but we are success stories, high status women. We are watchful forgetters. We protect the young. We have a marvelous capacity to laugh. We have to, for we are the women we never intended to be, with survival stories we never imagined would be our own. Yeah.